Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome to the final day of the 12 days of Cheermas. I know, I know, but don't be sad that it's over. Smile that it's still not over, because it's not the end of the episode, so you still have plenty of time to, to smile and enjoy yourself. Then you can be sad. Be sad later, all right? Be happy now. That's the point of cheer, miss. You know, gotta enjoy yourself. Gotta have a nice, fun time. And we are here today with a game that is very reminiscent of our happenings this December. Our 12 days of cheer, miss, have been brought down into 12 days of Christmas. Because, uh, obviously, it's a Christmas, Christmas joke. You know, 12 days of... If you didn't get that, wow. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so this is a game uh, called 12 Days of Christmas, or 12 Days, however you want to work it. How it works is we shuffle this bad boy here. So there is, this is a deck of 80 cards, and how it works is there is one one in it. So, and then there's two twos, there's three threes, there's four fours, there's five fives, and so on until we get to the 12 twelve. So there's 12 Days of Christmas, there's 12 different sets of cards you can have. Each person which I'll get to the people now, snap my finger, and BAM! Look at that. All right, so yeah, we of course have Saul Goodman, everyone's favorite man, everyone, everyone's main man Saul is here for the final day of Christmas. He's making his debut. How's it, how's it going, Saul? Oh, fantastic, get it here. Uh, we have our, our funny little fish friend, and of course, uh, Mr. Xylophone. How you feeling today, Mr. Xylophone? All right, I'll take it. All right, so yeah, of course how this works. You're going to, uh, Cut the deck. So each person gets 12 cards. Is that how that works? Yes, there we go. So now we just, we're going to just take this one, chop that into 12. Bam. Take this one, chop that, you guessed it, into 12. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this, but uh, this is my way of doing it. So there we go. And then we have, of course, have this left. So uh, we'll give, I already shuffled this, so we shouldn't have to reshuffle or anything like that. Each person gets a deck of 12 cards. So how this works, each round, we will be, believe it or not, showing a day of Christmas. You know what? We're going to take we're gonna take all these into our hand. So this is what we've got to work with here. we got some 10s, some 1s, a 2. A 2 is pretty good. So what you, so essentially this is like a, a bluffing betting game in a sense. So the first, so each, there's 12 rounds in the 12 days of Christmas per use. You know, it makes sense. And on the, it's a, each person will be putting down a card that they would like to bet with to gain the point of that day of Christmas. For the first day of Christmas, it's one point up until you get to this, and the second day is two, third is three, and so on. So you want to try to to get the good cards which come at the end. Uh, and you bet not with high, you, you, with your, obviously with your cards, but you want a lower number. You want to have the lowest number. So if I put down this 10, Odds are someone else is going to put down a 9 or an 8 or anything higher than 10, and they're going to get the card instead. So what I want to do is I want to try to use some of my better cards. But obviously you don't want to use them too early because then, you know, you're gonna you're not going to be able to get any of the big points at the end. And there's also a bonus score way of scoring at the end, which is you can, like, for every card that's in your hand, we look at each everyone's hands to see who has the most of a certain number. So if I, at the end of the game, have four eights, and no one else has more eights than I do, I get eight points. If I have two tens, but someone else has four tens, and they have the person with the most tens, they get ten points. So you want to hold on to the, to the really big numbers, while also not crowding your deck too much at them, because then you won't get any of the you know, the, the big ticket items that are being pretty much put up for auction, you know, in the beginning of the day. So, it's a lot of strategy, it's a lot of stuff like that. So, we're just going to get started. Obviously, <laughs> there's not a lot of strategy to be done in terms of uh, these three jokesters, because, I mean, what are they doing? What do they know? They don't know anything. They just have the rules next to them, and they're just, they're just, <laughs> they're, they're playing through pure luck. And get get this out of here. We don't need that. So there's my cards. We have a ten. So uh, we have a two. That two and that three are probably going to be the biggest things that we have in the four. So how this works is we pass a card to the left that we do not want. So if for me, I don't know if I want this twelve. You know, I don't, I have a I have a couple of tens. Now it looks like I have two tens, three. Oh, we have a few tens. No, we have three tens. Yeah, you know, we have we have two or three tens. I'm not entirely sure how many, but uh, I know we have some tens. So we're going to want to hold on to those because at the end we might be able to get the 10 bonus points. So now we're going to pass this 12 over to the person to my left. Uh, and then we're just going to shuffle and do that for everyone here. And so I get this person's 10. Hey, that's that's pretty much what I wanted. So that's awesome. 
So now that gets added into their decks. And now that we have these cards, we can play one of our cards from our hand to attempt to win the round. So I'm going to play. Again, this is only the first day. You only have a one. So, you know, we're going to take... Or is that 11? I think I had an 11 in here. Or a 9? No, let's use the 11. We don't need the 11. And so, on 3, everyone would, would show us their cards. We have... They played a 12. They played a 12. They played a 10. And they played... And I played an 11. So, two 12s, a 10, and 11 are out. They're gone. They're, these don't get shuffled back in. They're just gone. I think. <laughs> Could be wrong. I don't think I am. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, so these are gone. These are out of the, the out of the thing. Oop. Oh, I flipped over his deck. Oopsie. <laughs> he played an eleven. Okay, so how it works is also we cancel out. So if my eleven was the winning card, but someone else put an eleven, then that cancels it. So then the next person would win. So if we three played elevens and that person played a twelve, and that would cancel out all the elevens, and the twelve would have won, which is just bananas. Okay, and uh, so now, now we have revealed, and the first point goes to Funny Fish. Good for Funny Fish. And then we all draw a card. So I'm gonna just pop one in there, trying to flip it over. Pop one there. Pop one there. Pop one there. Uh, I don't know. I'm entirely sure. We might have to reshuffle the this deck afterwards just because we're not gonna have enough cards for that but we're just gonna we're gonna go until we can't anymore uh so yeah let's let's keep going he's not very happy about it that was a very angry tone but that's okay because now again we're gonna pass one to the left so i just got an eight i think you have a lot of tens i, I want to like sh i want to like sort my hand out just for you guys at home yeah we have freaking five tens we t we definitely don't need any more tens let's say that much because i don't think anyone's going to be able to fight us on tens so i don't think there's a reason to be stocking up so heavily on them oh uh, so what that said we're actually going to give one of them away i feel like that just makes sense i don't think that that's really needed so we're going to give that to him after he and okay, we gotta reshuffle i Gotta, always gotta make sure you're shuffled things get passed that way so that goes there that goes there that goes there and i get a 12 okay not exactly what i want it's also the, this only the second day of christmas so i'm probably gonna wind up playing that 12 because i want to save my two three and four for much better cards uh obviously these guys are all just random idiots so they they don't know what the fuck they're doing <laughs> So he plays a 12, he plays a 12, he plays a 12. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> okay, so this comes, this, this turns into a problem that I wasn't anticipating because I don't know what to do here. Because <laughs> the rules are if they all cancel, if the, the same numbers cancel out. So we just play, we just draw again. Leave the day card for the next round. Ooh, so days two and three. Okay, so now we're betting on days two and three. Ooh, that's, that's a big, that's big. That's five points. So this, this day is now worth day five. It was worth five. Oh, I like that. I can't for the life of me get these fucking cards to stack. Jesus. There we go. Flip those around. Pop them on there. And then, of course, everybody gets a, another card. And I get a 7. Okay, 7's good. I like I like me a 7. I think we'll get rid of the 9. You know, I'll get, we'll pass them a 9 because we, we want to keep some 10s. You know, I feel like... It was, again, we're trying to win in 10s. I feel like 10s and maybe 7s because... We already have half the decks as sevens, so maybe we can at least get 17 points at the end in case we don't get too much of this. I'm, I'm thinking, thinking ahead. So there we go. So now I just pass this to him, so I don't take that back. He gets that. He gets that, and I get a zero. The fuck is zero? I guess, I guess zero is like a an all round you win. I don't remember there being a zero, but I'll take it. All right. So that's just a freebie. So if I wanna, if I wanna claim the last day of Christmas, I can just say, hey, I have Santa Claus, you idiots. Seems a bit cheap, but you know what? The cards, the cards allow it. So, so will I. This time though, I think we're just gonna play this eight, and we don't, we don't really need to bet too crazily on these. But yeah, they, they might. Who knows? So, of course, I betted my eight. They bet a six. Ooh, wow, that's that's a pretty high one. They also bet a six, and they. This is this is fucking. <laughs> this is impossible. This is impossible. This is a, what? <laughs> what are the odds of this happening? <laughs> Almost twice in a row. <laughs> okay, so all of their sixes get canceled out because I mean, listen, I mean, spending a six on five points is pretty isn't terrible but with my eight <laughs> i claim days two and three joyous day for me so these are my points mm -mm -mm, tasty <laughs> so stupid 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, everyone draws a card, because we should all be at 11, yep, so you can have that one, you can have that one, you can have that one, and I will take this 11, okay, I don't want the 11, I don't want it, I'm giving it to them, we're gonna reshuffle, 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 blap, 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 and then I go blap, 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 and I get another 7, okay, so I'm gonna hold on to these 7s, because now there's no way they can get more 7. Do I want to reshuffle, you know what, let's do that, actually, should we? From now on, I just shuffle all those back into there. Because I feel like that's, that's going to be really easy to... No, because then everyone still has 12 cards. And then we'll, we'll have more. Because we still have... We have enough for five more rounds. So then towards the end, we can grab some more of those. But then we're not going to have, like, any of those. Well, we're going to we're gonna do that. Let's, let's, let's just reshuffle everything back into itself. You know, because I feel like it makes sense. Keeps the numbers still in fluctuation. So people can actually start collecting them. Because if everyone uses the 12s and someone's like, I'm going to collect 12s. Then you can't really collect 12s, now can you? Uh, so yep, again, so we are going to be giving away something. And I don't know what I want to give away. I might just give away a 7. You know, because I already have 3. The odds of somebody else, uh, you know, fucking doing that. So I mean, they, they're going to see that 7. If this was a person, instead of just his iPhone man, he's pretty happy with the 7. Because that's a good, that's, a, that's not a bad card to just get off of somebody. But a 6 is much better than whatever the fuck I had. And now we are to day four. I said, what day four? Wait, didn't I have... I do. I guess that didn't really go into the deck as I thought it would. So we have some options here. We can either use a 10 and probably not get it. We can use a 7 and pro I might get it. And we're going to use that 6. I don't think I need this 6 for anything else. So I'm going to play it down to 6. And they, they gave me an easy way out. And we just got to make sure we reshuffle these. Always important we reshuffle these. And let's see. So I got a six. They played a nine. Not a bad card. They played a twelve. He could Saul, you clearly don't <laughs> I put that I put that on his head. Why did I put that on his fucking head? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> Hello, soup! Oh, it's Christmas, buddy. He's excited. He's <laughs> Aw. And they played an eight, so I do win that round as well. Oh my gosh, that is so... Hi, Soup! He's a sweet man. Soup's a sweet man. No no one hates Soup. Hi, bud! Yes, you're very talkative. You're a very talkative man. Come here. He's cheer, Miss Buddy. It's the line. It's the, it's the day. Oh, okay, he doesn't want to sit. He just wants to walk around my room and yell at me. Right? Right, bud? Yeah, he wants to walk, he wants to walk around my room and yell at me. It's cheer, Miss Baby. He's probably going to keep doing that for a while, so, uh, wait, there he is. <laughs> He's so sweet. I love this dude. Uh, yeah, so I claim the fourth day as well. This definitely isn't rigged in my favor. Uh, let's see, so now I get, okay, it might be, I should, well, really, the, the moment I say it's not rigged in my favor, I draw the one off the deck. That is, so I, I pretty much have these, like, the last few days on lock. This might not have been a good choice for a game. To play at random, <laughs> but regardless, you know what? You know what? We're gonna give them a chance. We're gonna. I'm gonna give them the one. All right, because I, I, I'm in the spirit of giving. You know, it's a lovely day. Soup's here, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling generous. So we're gonna give. Now right, we're gonna give him the one. Oh, <laughs> not trying to, not trying to cheat. I promise, I'm not trying to cheat. And we get a ten. Okay, you know what? Hey, that's just the power of giving. However, again, I don't think. These random people are going to have more than four of these. I could probably just safely take three of each and probably have more than enough. But we're going to play as if, you know, these are people and not whatever the hell Saul's is. So I'm playing a 10. Uh, and they're playing a 5 on day 5. Wow, that's that's quite the play. He's playing a 3 on day 5. And he's playing a 4. Ooh, this was a, this is a high contention round. I thought I, I didn't. I didn't think people cared about the five points so much, but I guess everyone needs some points. And Saul, my man, with the five, uh, now with, with the three, claims the five. So he has won the fifth day of Christmas. Cheermas, of course. I didn't even say Christmas. You said Christmas. Ooh, no, okay. Oh, I shouldn't, uh, okay, I was supposed to draw first. Oops, I just, <laughs> I'm okay. Everybody, don't, don't relax. No, relax. I'm okay. So we're going to reshuffle now. I'm doing fantastic. Again, I'm the only person here, and I'm overwhelming. I'm overwhelming myself somehow. I don't. I don't understand it. Oh, but yeah, I'm giving him that 12. I don't need it. I don't want it. And now it's probably about time I start playing some. Oh well, fucking fantastic. Okay, so maybe. So let's see. I have something good for days, uh, 12, 11, 10, and 9. So we're just gonna play for, play for scraps. You know, we're just gonna throw some crap out in the woods until the last few rounds, because that's when it really starts to bang up and juice. So I got a 12, obviously. 
They played a 12. They played a 7. So Saul, Saul might get this point. Saul got the point. Yeah, look at that for the 6. Very solid. A good play by Mr. Fish. But, uh, yeah, he's... Xylophone is now typing out a very, really fucking aggressive note to me. Uh, not cool. But, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's Christmas, alright? I'll let him have it. <laughs> okay, so then we got... I got a 5. I'll take a 5. Okay, so now... I've also got something good for the next day, which would be eight. So now I have stuff to play for another eight days. So that's pretty good. So maybe we give it, let's give another ten away. Because I don't, no, because that's, no, because someone might have a lot of tens. You don't know. Uh, another, another seven? Let's do another seven. You know, let's give, let's give it a seven. Let's give, let's give people a seven. You know, I feel like seven is a nice card. Can I shuffle these? Just in case I didn't. It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to shuffle these. All right, so let's see. So... Uh, then that goes to him, that goes to him, and this goes to me, which is a four. You gave me a freaking four? That feels, that feels a little, a little scandiphilous. You know, I don't think I deserve this four, but, I mean, hey, I'll, if you got it, I'll play it. Uh, shuffle up these again, and then we will draw a card. So I got the four. I don't think I'm going to lose this. Uh, they, Silophone plays a nine. Very unhappy about that. Ooh, we played a five. Saul's, Saul's coming to win. Uh, <laughs> Funny fish man, maybe not so much. He's got the freaking Charlie Brown tree, and you know, he's he's just he's just happy to be here. Which you know what? It's, 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 we're here to be cheer. All right, the, the last day of cheer, miss everybody. Don't 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 you freaking cry. It's not over yet. There's still a few days left. Oh, but I get day seven. So ha. <laughs> there we go. I'm racking up some points, but so so is Saul. I think Saul might have. Saul is definitely my like a worthy opponent, not component. Let's do that, 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 and then I get another ten. I don't need all these freaking tens. Okay, shuffle this up, and then I'm, I'm giving away a ten. I don't need a ten. I please stop with the tens. Take this ten and be gone with you. And I got a twelve. Okay, you know not not exactly what you'd want to see, but yeah, yeah. yeah. However. We now have room for 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, I mean, it just makes sense that, uh, you know, I just start hoarding 12s if I happen to be getting a bunch of them, right? It would make sense to start doing that. So I played my 5. They played a 4. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't even get it. I didn't get day 8. Christmas Man might actually get day 8. He, he played an 8, and he played a 5. Ooh, okay, so me and Fish, we're on, we're on the same boat. So close. Xylophone Man finally winning one. He's Ding for joy right now. D is in the key. I'm not trying to be weird good for good for zero for minutes now everyone has a card all right you know what somehow somehow some way this this game wound up with everybody at least getting one card which i am pretty happy about uh you can have that you can have that you can have that and i can have this which is an 11 that i'm immediately going to be giving to you <laughs> i don't need it i don't want it please take it away <laughs> and here's your points just just put them put them put them there <laughs> put it there put it wait hold on didn't shuffle see it is what that is you gotta remember to shuffle if you're not if you're not spamming that shuffle key, then what are you doing with your life? And I got an eleven. Ah, I should have kept the eleven. It's fine. Uh, we're not gonna play that eleven, of course. We're gonna be playing the four because it'd be stupid not to play these last low numbers. Uh, uh see then. Yeah, we gotta reshuffle. Uh, oh, always. Oh shit. <laughs> I should have shuffled the days. Uh, let's just get let's get nine back. Can I get nine back. Cool. Is this gonna be right? Watch it. Watch this be right. Nine. Not nine. No, 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 it's not. Okay, well that's fine. Well, we'll get we'll get there when we get there. Uh, so I'm playing a four. Let's see what they do. Played an eleven. Played a twelve. And a played an eleven. Okay, they. And I think they're starting to not understand the, imp the the importance of these of the days. I don't I don't think they understand what's going on here. I mean, I'll take the nine. I mean, that's I mean, sure, you know, why not? But I mean, I mean come on, guys, have have some class. I know one of you has a one. All right, one of you does. I know that because I gave it to you. And unless you're saving it to get one point at the end, like an idiot, I would use it for day for day for for for, for day ten. <laughs> use it for day ten. For love of God, uh, take the take 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 the stupid twelve. You know I've I've been getting twelves. You can have the twelve. Got to shuffle before you draw. And this this is exciting. You know I I'm happy to see so oh, for good. <laughs> this fish is like reading in my mind. He's 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 he's. His tail is sinus is just waving at me. It's like getting sonar off the off the ink of the cards to be able to tell what I'm giving away, so they know exactly what to give back. Unbelievable. With that said, I will keep it because it is day ten. Day ten of oh, Cheermas, everybody. Can you, you remember day ten? Remember day ten? Day ten was fun. I had fun day ten. And well, well, and well, well, and I.
played, of course, a three. I don't think anyone's beaten that. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay, they played an eight. They played a nine, and they played an eight. Okay, see so ya yeah, there. I'm not sure what the strategy is for these random folk, but, I mean, I'll take... I'll keep taking free points. I mean, free... Right, if they're free. If they're free... Aw, oh, dude, you know I'm grabbing. I got an eight. Okay, I don't want this eight, but, you know, I'll just give it to them. Because I definitely don't need it. And there's no way in hell that I'm being given an eight out of this. But you know what? Let's make things interesting. I'll give them a zero. I'm going to give him a chance at getting something pretty nice from out from all this, you know? I feel like it's only fair. I got a three. I was going to use the five, and I'm still going to use the five, because I, I want to give them a chance. I want to give these guys a chance. It is Christmas, after all. I I, I don't want to feel like I'm running the table, you know? That, that'd be mean. That would be rude to do on my show. I invited my favorite friends over. Oh, you shut up, all right? Listen, I, I, I consider you a really great friend. See, I, I knew, I knew he'd appreciate that. Dude, yeah, I'm happy to have you guys here, so I'm not going to try to win too crazily. I'm just going to play this five. Did I give cards away? Yeah, because I just got a five, didn't I? I don't, I don't remember what we, what we're doing right now, so I'm just going to assume playing. Oh, look at that. Mr. Tree playing the good stuff. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, the, wow. I'm thoroughly surprised. Mr. Tree actually freaking played. Mr. Xylophone. Actually playing the the good card got eleven. What is happening to the cards? <laughs> good stuff, Mr. Xylophone. That was that was impressive work. And I got a four. Not a bad card to get at the end. Could just snag four points, which of course is nothing in comparison to the uh, the mass of wealth. Oh, hold on, gotta shuffle. The mass of wealth that the last day of Christmas is. Look at that nice funky old Christmas tree. This is great. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time. This is this is just a, this is just a great, great old time for great old friends like us. I could have sworn I was going to get another 12, <laughs> but I didn't. And for the last day of Christmas, I have my two turtle doves, and they are ready to go against whatever the heck these people could possibly bring, such as 12 drummers drumming, 9 ladies dancing, and 6 geese a laying. Solid try, Mr. Fish. So it looks like I... Of course, playing the 12, I feel like that was kind of... I don't think there was much unexpectedness to it. And everyone does get another card. I get a three. Hey, I'll take two of the only threes. How the fuck did that happen? No, uh, that's it. I get day 12. So I got... I, I won seven, all right? But the fact that I only won seven, it's pretty good. That's pretty good odds for them, anyway. So now we go through... We go through everyone's deck, and this 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 is the part where it's much easier in person because you can just you can everyone just has their deck in their hands and say, "Hey, how many threes you got?" Oh, I have one of those. Oh, I I, I have two. I have to now individually search through these people's decks and see if they have the cards that I need from them. So. First of all, I want to see if Xylophone Man kept the one. Because if he did, I guess I can just lay him out like this. That's not too bad. It's just, it just becomes impossible to do that. He might... He has he had Mrs. Claw... This dude was loaded. This dude was actually freaking loaded. And he traded away my one to someone else who didn't use it either. So he's got he's got quite the hand, though. He's got... The zero obviously doesn't do anything for him. He, he had both two. No, he has a seven and a two. Not bad. Not... Not a bad group of cards to have. Okay, so he's... The zero does nothing good for him. Get that back in the, in the pile. So he has, what? He has a six, uh, some twelves, some sevens, and a couple tens. Okay, so hey, you know, not bad. Here, let's, let's sort them all into nice little piles so I can do the, my job easily. There we have the tens. We have some sevens. We have the two, the eleven. Another twelve. Ooh, he's got... He's got four twelves. He's a third of the twelve. I think Xylophone Man might be coming in clutch for a win here. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Saul, he's really been paying. He's he's the he's the rules of the game locked into his head. So he he's ready. He's ready to for me to whip out some stuff. He got two. He, he won two of the rounds. That's pretty impressive. Were they some early ones? Yeah, but I mean, hey, didn't he win back to back? Hold on, he won six, and then where the fuck did the other one go? Five. Yeah, he won five and six. Back two back to back wins. There's nothing to scoff at. He had a twelve. Okay, well, we're gonna move the the big deck for now. He had a five, an eleven, another eleven, a nine, another nine, an eight, another eleven. He's looking. He's going for the elevens. Another six. He had the partridge. So yeah, Saul kept the partridge, which is a flattering move if I if I say so myself. So he's got a lot of different cards, which isn't good for uh, the end game, but hey, you know. Saul's playing how Saul's playing. You know, I can't knock him for it. So 
So then he's got Swan, he's got Swan, he's got Lord, he's got Piper, he's got some rings, he's got a geese, he's got some drummers. He's got, very similar to Saul, a little bit of his toes and everything. Ooh, almost, oh so almost, claimed the 12 out of their hands. And then, of course, we know what my cards are. So this is kind of a fucking disaster, but I can promise you I'm not going to fuck this up somehow. So day one, who has a one card? He does. So now he gets one point on top of his stuff. Uh, who has the most twos? I think there's only one two in play right now, and it is for Mr. Xylophone. So we're going to put all those cards into one big pile, and that will be our scoring pile. Uh, threes, I happen to have two threes, and so literally no one can beat me, so I'm putting that right into my score pile. And this can go wherever else, I suppose. Put it in there. Day four, I have one four. Does anyone else even have a four? No one else has a four. Yippee me. He gave away his only real chance at getting some points here. Do I feel bad, kind of? Uh, day five, Saul had one golden ring, but Fishman had two. Putting him on the board, fantastic. Love to see it. Flip that shit around under there. Day six, day six. I don't have day six. Uh, he's got one geese. He's got one geese, and he's got one geese. They all have one geese, which means they each get six points. It's not an it's not an if and only. It's an each situation here. Sevens, I have two sevens, so here's hoping I can claim justice there. He also has two. Ooh, it's a three-way tie for seven. Jeez, that was an unexpected. Frickin' Saul. <laughs> Unexpected. A three-way tie for seven. Jeez. And then this goes in there, this goes in there, this goes in there. How about some eights? I have two eights. Uh, I don't think... Uh, he has one eight. Does Mr. Man here have some eights? He's got two nines, a ten, a few of those. No, I'm the only one with eights. So then I gain an eight. Uh, nines. Any nines? Is there... Uh, we have two and two, which means, once again, it's a nice little split between them. And then this can just go in there, and this can just go in there. And now up to ten. Oh, okay, I've got to get rid of this. Ten. He has two. He has one. And he has one. I have four. So this is pretty much me done, I think. Because I got all I have is an eleven. Uh, let's get the ten out of there. Let's get the ten out of there. Let's get the two tens out of there. Almost got me. Uh, so yeah. And now with elevens, I have one eleven. He is one eleven. He's three. So Saul's getting the eleven points, which is pretty dang nice. Eleven is nothing to scoff at. And of course, the twelve days. The twelfth day. He's got twelve. He's got two. He's got three. So xylophone. Xylophone might fucking come in clutch and steal the victory. Like I don't. I don't entirely know if that's doable at this point, but I mean, I have 12 cards. He has six, but he's got six pretty powerful cards. He also has six cards. You know, everyone everyone wound up with a decent amount of cards at the end of this. So, what the fuck? What the... What? What? Go. Saul, I swear to God. There. So, yeah. So, it's time to do some calculations, and I will see you shortly. So, as you waited in bated breath, it doesn't... I hope it doesn't come to a very big surprise who the winner is today. In fourth place... We have Funky Fish, Funny Little Fish Boy, with, say it with me now, Mr. Funny Fish, say it with me, 28 points, which isn't terrible, it's, it's more than there are days before Christmas, so that's pretty good, I'll, that's a solid score, Saul, Mr. Saul Goodman, what do you have to say for yourself on your little business card over here, right there, 38 points, 38, alright, you know, it's, it's a solid jump from, from uh, from funny from funky fish man, but so hey, good stuff. Uh, what say you, Mr. Zalfo? Yeah, forty six, very solid, not bad, definitely pretty close between these two. I really didn't think it'd be that close between, you know, everyone everyone randomly playing the game. I hit seventy nine. Do I feel bad? Yes. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, it was obviously pretty rigged in my favor from the start. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so rigged in my favor, but honestly, had I played random too, I think this would have been a close friggin' game. Because look at that, 28, 38, 46. That's not too far of a jump between themselves. Obviously, you know, 33 point jump between second and first. That's just because I am a person, and I'm also a gamer, so... You know, and also it's it's Cheermas, everybody. It's Cheermas. It's the last day of Cheermas, and I have succeeded in playing a board game. I I won with no contest for the first time in my life. I am so happy about that. <laughs> so that's my gift for myself, I suppose. Uh, however, I 
have a gift for you guys. Obviously, the main event is a preview. You heard it right, folks. You already know what it is. I've already alluded to it, probably. The double-double retro bow header for Christmas. For Cheermas. Sorry. Uh, seriously, I hope you enjoy that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thank you all for sticking around for the full 12 days of Cheermas. Even if you don't, thanks for stopping by anyway. If you just happen to stumble across this and just stayed around. I'm just very grateful and very thankful for each and every one of you. So, seriously, thank you. I guess this is, this is the most fun I've had doing stuff in a long time. So, serious thank yous once again. And I hope your Cheermas is amazing. See you in an hour, everybody. Bye now.